This morning, Sam Bankman Fried, once the face of cryptocurrency success, now convicted of stealing billions of dollars. The cryptocurrency industry might be new, but this kind of fraud, this kind of corruption is as old as time. A federal jury in Manhattan taking little time to find Bankman Fried guilty of all seven counts, including wire fraud, conspiracy, and money laundering. The 31 year old founded FTX in 2019, quickly turning it into one of the largest exchanges of digital currency in the world, courting celebrity endorsers, including stars like Tom Brady. What's up, guys? I'm here with my boy Sam from FTX. But his crypto empire, once valued at $32 billion, collapsed. A leaked document spooking investors, forcing the company into bankruptcy, with more than one million people losing money, some their life savings. I screwed up. Like, I was CEO. I had a responsibility. That means that I was responsible. We, we messed up big. Federal prosecutors saying Bankman Freed misappropriated billions of dollars using customer funds from FDX to loan money to his crypto hedge fund, Alameda Research, in an effort to hide bad investments, purchase luxury real estate, and pay for a multi million dollar ad campaign that aired during the Super Bowl. It's a safe and easy way to get into crypto. I don't think so. Bankman Freed pled not guilty, taking the stand in his own defense, but the jury also heard devastating testimony from his three top lieutenants, who pled guilty and cooperated with prosecutors, including his ex girlfriend, the former CEO of Alameda. Thursday's ruling marking the end of Bankman Freed's reign as the king of crypto, as he's now facing the rest of his life behind bars. It's a warning, this case, to every single fraudster out there who thinks that they're untouchable. Lawyers for Bankman Freed say they're disappointed with the jury's verdict. Obviously, his team signaling they will very likely appeal. This case now moves to sentencing in March, guys. And serious jail time, time potentially, but these aren't the only legal troubles he's facing. He is in a heap of trouble. He faces a second trial, also supposed to start in March, allegedly uh, trying to bribe Chinese, Chinese business officials, as well as uh, contributing illegal campaign donations. So that's all happening, and as well as a bunch of civil suits about try people trying to get their money back. Okay. Laura, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.